Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the best winter gloves for £100 or less. All bike gloves are designed to keep your hands safe. Loads of them are also designed to keep your hands dry, but only winter gloves have to keep them warm too. Our list of the best pairs of winter gloves for £100 or less is based on reviews from customers with a little bit of our own know-how mixed in as well. If you're on a tighter budget, we've got a guide to the best winter gloves for 50 quid or less. And if you don't mind what you spend at all, then we've also got a guide to the best overall. You'll see links to those videos popping up at the end of this one, or you can see them by heading to the description below. But if you're happy with £100 as your budget, then I hope this rundown of gloves helps you find the pair that are best for you this winter. If you dig into the customer reviews for the Revit Hydra 2 H2Os, then you'll find a range of different opinions on the conditions that they're best suited to. Some of the owner reviewers say they're absolutely fine throughout the whole of winter, but then others say the lining won't protect when it's really horribly cold. There are always going to be differences of opinion on things like that, as people all feel the cold differently. Uh, even though the Thinsulate lining is rated in Thinsulate's top warmth category, I would say these are probably best for those who want a bit more flexibility rather than the highest level of insulation. The construction's impressive with a combination of leather and textile plus hard knuckle armour, a fabric visor wipe, touchscreen friendly inserts and a single wrist restraint. The CE rating is level one with knuckle protection. As we record this, eight of the nine customer reviewers have given these gloves the maximum five stars and that makes them the highest ranked winter gloves without a Gore-Tex membrane as the Hydra 2 has Revit's own Hydratex waterproof liner. As things stand, the list price for a pair of Hydra 2s is £84.99. Now, I'd say don't get too carried away with the ice polar tag for these gloves. That might make them sound like the sort of glove that would let you juggle icebergs comfortably, but they're actually relatively lightweight, which is reflected in the customer reviews. They're very popular with riders who have heated grips to keep their hands warm, and also riders who leave their bike at home when the temperatures drop into single figures. Thinsulate's label for the warmth lining in these gloves even puts it in the middle of their three brackets for insulation and warmth. But they definitely still count as winter gloves and there is a lot of demand for a pair of gloves that offer good dexterity and will protect against what you might call normal cold and rain, which is what you get from these gloves. They're made mostly from textile with leather reinforcements and they have a rubber visor wipe on the left forefinger. There's no capability for using touchscreens with these gloves, but what they do have is a Gore-Tex waterproof membrane. They're the only gloves in this guide that do have Gore-Tex. The CE rating is level one with knuckle protection, again, in common with all the other gloves in this video. And as we record this, the list price for the Risha Ice Polars is £99.99. .99. If you're watching this because you want warm gloves and you don't mind too much about the thickness that comes with that, then let me introduce you to the Furigan Fury Longs. These are among the thicker winter gloves around, according to customers. And if there is a complaint in those customer reviews, then it's just that that thickness might take away some dexterity. But they do really well still overall on reviews with seven five-star reviews from the first nine to be left by people who bought them. The palm is made from leather. And on the back of the hand, there's a combination of textile and leather with a soft D3O knuckle protector. They're rated to the basic level one of the CE standard in common with the vast majority of gloves. And that knuckle armor is also CE passworthy. The forefinger and thumb are touchscreen compatible, but there's no wipe to clear rain off your visor. The list price for the Furigan Fury Longs as we record this video is £79.99. These gloves are the only pair from our guide to the best for 50 quid or less that are highly rated enough to also make the list of best gloves for £100 or less. They're made from a leather outer with reinforcements made from both leather and textile plus carbon fiber. Knuckle protection. Accordion stretch panels on the back of the hand and the first three fingers make them a bit more flexible as well. There's a rubber visor wipe on the left thumb, but there's no touchscreen capability, so you'll need to take one off to control your phone. The gauntlet part of the glove is relatively short and it's also quite floppy, so these only really suit being worn inside the jacket sleeves. Inside, the soft thermal lining protects against pretty low temperatures and it's very comfortable against the skin. The customer reviews for these gloves are very positive with 22 five-star reviews from the first 33 to be posted. Now, I've worn a pair of these myself through last winter and I was very impressed with the warmth, which I found enough for riding comfortably in temperatures of around five degrees Celsius. The customer reviews seem to back up my opinion on that and these gloves perform far better than the price would suggest. The list price for the DXR Winter Carbons as we record this is £49.99.
These gloves combine textile on the back of the hand with a suede palm, and then there's soft protection for the knuckles with a hard shell over the top of it. There's a visor wipe on the left thumb, and there's a touchscreen cover on the forefingers. Owners are very happy with them as the Tempests have picked up 23 five-star reviews from the first 34 reviews to be posted. On the inside, there's a thermal lining that's well balanced between warmth and dexterity, and Dionysi's D-Dry waterproof membrane to keep your hands dry. Riders rate them highly for giving good protection against warmth and rain, and they also say they start out quite stiff, but will break in given a bit of time. One fairly common comment in the reviews is that riders have had to go up one from their normal size. There is a size guide on the product listing on our site, and the best advice seems to be to use that and go for the larger size if your hands are on the cusp of two sizes. The Dineasy Tempest D-Dries have a list price of £99.95 as we record this. Right, so those are the five most popular winter gloves for 100 quid or less as rated by our customers. We have, as I said earlier, also prepared guides to the best for 50 quid or less and also the best overall regardless of price and links to those will be popping up soon. There's also a link to our general guide on what to look for if you've not got much experience of winter gloves. I hope this video, or if not, then one of the others, helps you find the right gloves for you. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or if there's anything you'd like to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.